Hello everyone. Today is Wednesday. It is What's Up Wednesday or Watercolor Wednesday. Either one is fine with me. It's just what I'm up to today. Well, today is video 46. I have 361 subscribers. Thank you very much. I appreciate everyone. And today is May 22nd, 2024. Hi. Well, today we are working at on my watercolor pin cushion that I've been doing. Um, I have an array of things around me. I have my watercolors, which I just got uh, all of my main watercolors, the colors that I like, and I put them, and it's a mixture of uh, Graham, M. Graham, uh, Windsor Newton, and uh, Mission Gold colors, and just kind of put them in, in rainbow way. That way I could kind of see an eye mix. I like them in plates better than those other things. I think I could I could see I could see the colors better when I squish them out. When I water them out. What are you want to call it? Also, I have my watercolor pencils. And these are the color bright bright in your life watercolor pencils. I also have some watercolor crayons just an easier way to get more on the paper. I have my ink tints blocks and my ink tints pencils in case I need them. Now ink tints is basically ink, it, it stains. It does not come off. The white really works well because it'll go down uh, a little dull, but when you wet, wet it, I'm gonna take that out. When you wet with my hair all over the place, look at that. It's been, well, it wasn't so great back then. Last time I was into these was probably a good few years ago. Anyway, that's what I have here. It's what I'm working on today. I have already used my uh, black uh, watercolor pencil. I'm trying to get the black more smooth than it is because you can see where I used one color black on top of another color black and you could kind of see the halo of it. So I'm trying to fix that. Plus I have been working hard on trying to make this uh, a texture because this right here is the uh, pin cushion that I used right here. And uh, it has texture. It, has, it looks like a bunch of little dots. It's just a texture of the material. So that's what I'm trying to do. Plus I can see what these look like and I got a lot of work on buttons to do. Um, this one don't look too bad, I guess, but anyway, those are my buttons, all the colors, which a few of them I have changed the color because I messed up and just went over with another color. Anyway, that is the pin cushion that I made uh, that I'm painting. A little dusty. <laughs> anyway, life goes on. Okay, so I today, uh, like I said, I'm working on uh, the buttons. Um, I have been doing a lot of work on the pins, trying to make it where it looks more round and you can see the light uh, on it. I am working with uh, a couple things. You know, I just got my number 10 uh, black velvet and I got my number two Zen um, one. These are not, these are, this wasn't cheap, but it wasn't a real, these are not real expensive, but these are just mainly my watercolor pen, uh, uh, paintbrushes. I have all my watercolor paintbrushes right here. I don't know if you can see them right here. And these are just for watercolor because watercolor has very, very soft. They're soft. And this is just a, they're just very soft. Um, that one's kind of dirty. It's been a long time since I really cleaned these, but all kind of them, all kind of them. So, um, but this one right here is a water brush. I like to use this for my whites because um, I could dip into white. You could just push it, puts a little bit of water in there. And then I could dip in my white. And this is actually the watercolor uh, crayon. I just set that little piece of white right there. But I think I actually will get a better white with the ink tints. Yeah, so I'm just going on daubing getting some nice bright whites in there 
what I've been doing. This one. And you know, these right here, they got more than just the color. Like if it's purple, it's going to have a little bit of blue in it, a little bit of yellow in it, a little bit of, you know, so it's kind of reflecting off. Uh, like right up here, you see pink and all kind of reflections. That's when you make try to make it look really real is, is when you get all your reflections. And that's, that's the fun part to me is uh, getting all the reflections and stuff like that. And they all basically have the same reflection because the light is coming at the same way. Okay, so I have been going on and making basically pointillism on this red to kind of make it look uh, textured like this fabric. It's not the greatest fabric, but I don't know. It's almost like a weave fabric. Well, it's kind of like, I don't know if you can see this or not. It's kind of like a weavy fabric. I don't know if you can see it. My eyes aren't good enough to see it, but I can see it in here when I get real close right here. You can kind of see the fabric right there. That's what I'm doing. How have you guys been? I've been doing good. Just hanging out. I actually started painting a while ago. And then, you know, of course, you know, you get interested in what you're doing. And next thing you know, you look up and it's like three hours late. You're like, oh, man, I was supposed to take a shower. So I went and took a shower and here I am. <sighs> Trying to straighten up my lines. And, um, these, um, buttons, they all kind of have a little bit of different textures. Let me go over here. Um, textures and, um, so I'm trying to get these where they kind of look like a button, basically. I'm using gold right here because that yellow, it, I just need something to pop. But yeah, that's what I've been doing. Weather's beautiful, nice and sunny. Had no air conditioning for a while, but that's all taken care of. Um, nothing really new. Tomorrow I'm going to, uh, uh, what do you call it? Ah, oh, geez, I should have wrote down the name of it. A fair with my son and his his wife and his daughter, their daughter. Just trying to make things pop right now. I use a little gold in there. I'm just gonna put like a little bit of a, there. I don't use these water brushes very often. I mean, they're fun, but um, I'm just so used to regular brushes. But this came with this watercolor. So I was thinking, eh, I'll try it. What the heck? It's kind of hard to control the water in it because the water's coming from the back. So this is like really watery all the time. I forgot which one I was going to do. Let's see. I guess I can take the water out of it, but I'll just use a regular, regular one after that. See how I have white, pink, yellow? It's the reflection of all of them. And this reflection, actually, if you look real close to one of these reflections, you can really see what it's reflecting. And it's reflecting because it's sitting in the bed of my sewing machine. Where's that one? There's one that shows it really well. I think it's this green one. We can see the bed of the sewing machine and the head of the sewing machine right there, which is pretty cool. So they're all kind of showing the bed of the sewing machine. This one's pretty good. You can see good with that one. 
It's the bed is sewing machine and then the top of the sewing machine. I am working on, um, I'm starting to collect uh, all the pictures for my next um, picture. Uh, and I'm going to do the picture myself uh, with all my knickknacks, take a picture of it and uh, put, use that. Because I, you know, I don't want to deal with any kind of copyright or anything. I ain't selling the stuff. This is not going to be good enough for anything like that. This is just for me to have fun. It's very relaxing doing this. You know, if I have a stressful time, I'll do something like this or so or something like that. It kind of helps me. That's like I have a, a, a quilt and it uh, was a, a Thanksgiving quilt and it's got uh, turkeys on it. And I had to um, sew the turkeys and stuff like that as an applique. And uh, I never did finish that uh, <laughs> that uh, quilt because it has bad connotations of trying to get uh, my iPhone. <laughs> and I was calling, I'd be on the line with them for hours at a time. and. You know, one person says you'll get the phone for free. The next person is like, no, you don't. That's not what we do. Oh, it was just such a mess. But I'm trying to put in my shadows now. Um, this one got some shadows. I'm going to put the shadows over this. And uh, when you just glance at this, you really don't notice the shadows. Like I'm just using the color that's there and just... And let me add a little bit more. I'll just kind of put the shadow of that. Right there. And right here. And right here, it's got a nice shadow right there. It's got a little bit of one right there. It makes it a little darker. This one right here has got a shadow right here. Oops, wrong one. And a shadow right there. This one's got a shadow right here. I'll go back and put that white in. Let's see what else. Right here. That's got my, I got my shadows on there. Shadows here. And this one's kind of messed up. I gotta work on this this uh, this button. Just slowly, one at a time, just kind of work on them. Sorry, I get quiet when I'm concentrating. This has got a shadow up here. Take some of this right here, put it right here. Go a little darker. Where was I at? Right here. Try to make it look like it's round. That black line is too dark. I'm trying to lighten that black line out. It's got kind of like a bright area right there. darker a bit darker Slow 
but sure. Put in the color, adjust it. Then you put in another color and you adjust it. This, I can, uh, I don't want to put too much dark. I don't want that ready looking. That brown is real red right there. Let's see what brown we got here. Let's see. This is a nicer brown. Let's see. I'm just going to make it more brown. Then I'll go back and... Uh, The more layers you put on, it just makes it look better. It's more depth. Get rid of that black a little bit. And I'll go back and lighten that up. Let's see, this one has got a nice, it's got the shadow right there. Take some of that off. It's dark. Trying to darken all these up so I can go in and put uh, lines of the lightness on there. That's what I'm doing today. Trying to get it to look like it's kind of rolling. So that one's really light. I like my yellows. That's pretty light. Right, right. Help with that pin right there. That's yellow. A little bit of blue in that. I don't want too. I don't want that blue to turn green. Just a little bit of blue in there.
just a little bit. better. This one right here, it's dark right there. Lord, it's pretty light. I should make a here. See this one right here, it's got a lot of weight in it too. I love watching uh, time elapsed uh, paintings. Uh, those are pretty fun for me to watch because I'll sit there and say, oh, that area, they need to do this. And they do, oh, they did it. Okay, now do they need it? It's crazy. Or there's uh, people that I watch that do uh, uh, color books. And I watch them use like uh, the pencils, the ink tents, or the, what is the other? Pencil called. Oh. Uh, I know I have some. Oh, I can't remember. Anyway, they use those ones. Where are those at? Oh, they're really popular color pencils. I know I have some. Those are really popular and they use that and they're mixing the colors and all that kind of stuff that's pretty interesting to do to watch i really don't like doing it that takes way too long for me oops Here it is. I haven't had any snack today. And my stomach's kind of upset. So I'm not going to eat. You ever feel like that every once in a while? Just, I know, I just don't feel like eating. It doesn't happen often with me. <laughs> Believe you me. But it does happen. start warming up pretty soon. Not like Vegas, but thank goodness. This one, this one's a hard button. I've been working on this one quite a lot and it doesn't look like it, but I have. No, that's way too. I 
and maybe gold and white will help me on that one. So white will come down the gold. It's really bright though. I get lost in time when I do this kind of stuff. It just time just flies. And then inside there, let me get a little bit waterier. Inside here, I actually have some white. She went outside. He's like, I gotta go bark at these people. I hope you can see this. So, this is what I'm doing. This is what takes so long. good paint because you could put it down and then if you want to take it up you could take it right up now M gram uh, M gram what I like M gram and I like uh, mission gold uh, but I want more yellows reds and browns and purples I got a lot of green and blue uh, the next one I'm doing I want it to basically kind of have uh, blues and greens in it basically and I have some really cute uh, a tea cup and a little salt and shaker shaker pickers <laughs> salt and sh pepper shakers and uh, I have the saucer and they're clear so everything that I put around it it's going to reflect in it uh, with blues and greens. That's what I'm trying to get. I'm, I'm picking, I'm walking around, basically I'm walking around my house uh, looking at knickknacks that I want to use. I got a few of them. <laughs> Not as many as I used to, because when I came out here to live, I got rid of a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Let's put a little bit of white in there to see what it looks like. I'll let that lighten up and then I'll go back and uh, put some more, build it up. You can't tell. I got a, a little piece of white right here. <laughs> right next to the gold. A little piece of gold right here. And I'm mixing them together. There. Try to make this lighter. I'm going to lighten it up and then I'm going to go back with it with yellows. Because sometimes... Uh, you need white to make things pop. And a lot of people are like, oh, she's using white? Oh. And this is not uh, gouache. It's regular watercolor. 
but you know, you don't use black and you don't use white. You know, I use everything I want to. I am. I got. I got no 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 problems with anybody using white. I mean, the guy from Mind Mind of Watercolor Painter. I can't remember his name. He uses white, so I'm gonna use it. And this stacking, I got this all wrong. So I'm trying to make it look right. This one right here has got a lot of white right here. It's going to take some time to get me to, to get it where it looks right. It's like you make it look good and then you got to make it look bad. You got to make it look good and then you make it look bad. Basically glazing after this. Let's see down. And there where it's right here. I got this wrong somehow. I don't know. I'm not going to worry about it. I'll glaze brown over that. Let's see back here. basically what I'm doing. So, I will see you next Monday see what I've been up to I'm going to uh, have a good weekend going to the fair eat all kinds of crazy things like deep fried pickles and stuff and then uh, hang out Sunday we're going to have a cookover at my house we're just having hot dogs, chips, and stuff like that, and uh, my son's bringing the stuff for a uh, um, ice cream sundaes. Oh, oh, that's going to be good. He took me to Froyo a couple weeks ago. Oh, Mother's Day. Uh, we, we went over to his house, and he made dinner, and um, after that, we went to uh, frozen yogurt. That's the first time I've ever had frozen yogurt, and uh, that was good. It was one of those places uh, where you just put what you want in the cup, which I did not know that it, they go by weight. So I'm sure my cup was a little expensive. <laughs> but uh, he didn't care. But that was really good. I enjoyed the Froyo. It's the first time I had it. And then I had, I had strawberry, chocolate, and then vanilla. No, it was um, vanilla cake or something like that. And then I put little chunks of uh, brownie. I got coconut and something else. I think strawberries. Oh, that was good. That was really good. I'm, I was never really a ch uh, ice cream person, but uh, hello, I think I am now. Yeah, that's basically what I do. Where'd my brown go? Here it is. A little bit brown. This right here.
kind of lighten it up. Well, it's been a good uh, 35 minutes. Thank you guys for watching me. I hope you enjoyed uh, Watercolor Wednesday um, with all of my array of uh, watercolor uh, stuffy-wuffy. And I will see you Monday with uh, uh, Monday stuff. You guys, Mia Tammy, I love you. Um, bye.